We have three drill presses spread throughout the room. They are all variable speed. Um, you have to turn the drill on. You'll be able to see the RPMs up here, and you can adjust it on the side. I will say with a standard drill bit, standard twist drill, um, a half inch and below, you don't really have to worry about the RPMs. The ideal range for these is around 1 to 3,000 RPMs, and the smaller the bit, um, the higher the RPMs. As soon as you go above a half an inch on a twist drill, or you switch drill types like a Forstner bit or a hole saw, you need to refer to the drill charts and use the proper speed. The proper speed has a big impact on the cut quality, the blowout, and all that. As soon as you switch from wood to metal, it's always important, so no matter what size drill bit you have, if it is a metal, um, metal that you're drilling into, you need to look at a drill chart and determine the proper speed for that bit. When you're using the drill press, um, please don't try to hand tighten the bits into the chuck. What you'll end up doing is it'll mar or damage the back of the chuck here, the back of the shank, sorry. There is no type of gearing or step up like there is in the hand drills, so um, you must use a chuck key in order to tighten this down. And then please just leave the chuck key on the side. You can put it on top, but we've had students in the past drop it into this hole back here, so um, do it on the top, make sure you keep it towards the front or just leave it on the side of the machine. To adjust the height of the plate, there is a lock on this side and then a hand wheel on the opposite side. As with everything else in the lab, if you're trying to adjust something and it's hard to move, that typically means there's a lock or something in place. So um, if it's hard to move, just stop what you're doing and try to figure out where the lock is at. Uh, lastly, we typically keep this wooden plate on here so that when you drill through, um, you can punch through your material and then you don't drill into the steel plate. Um, if you look here, you'll see lots of holes where students have done that already. But typically, we'll just keep a wooden sacrificial plate on here and you can drill through that and then you don't have to worry about it. If you are strapping items directly down using T-slots, make sure you have it to where it won't drill into the plate itself. Uh, lastly, there is a swing in place guard. Um, drill bits do break quite often, especially in metal or when using bushings. So you can just swing this in place and it swings right out of your way. 